All right, everyone, welcome to another episode. I'm out here at the Ohio today. You know, we just got here, and um, I already landed a nice pound and a half fish. Um, you know, it's fishing in here. Water's pretty muddy today, and I landed him on this little bandit crankbait. It's like a shad imitator. Um, caught him right back in there, and he hit it. He's in a live well. Uh, let me show you guys him real quick. I mean, he's not a huge fish, but he's a pretty good fish. You know, a pound and a quarter, pound and a half. There he is. Nice little fish. I'll put him on the scale to get an official weight later. Um, but for right now, I'm going to get back in there and hopefully we can get another fish. There he is. Oh about, my gosh. About three and a quarter? Yeah, he's not. Yeah. He's still a good fish. Yeah, just a little bit excited, but still a good fish. Well, when he turned in that muddy water, he looked big, didn't he? Oh, yeah. On that same crankbait, chartreuse crazy. Good fish to start the day. Um, we just catch the bigger fish right now here at on these crankbaits, so you know. He's got a. He's pretty fat, but the, his head's just a real big head for the fish, so. Got another one he might keep, I think he will. He's just barely gonna keep, I think. Let me see here. Oh yeah, 12 and a quarter. Look at this. All the way down there, 12 inches. Put him in the well for another picture. All right guys, I got a net, the biggest one of the day, definitely. I cast it over the tree and I, he hit it on top, hang on. This is funny, this is the biggest one of the day. Dude, he's like a two pounder. That's so weird. I've never had that happen before. Crap. Oh, I'm gonna get him. Yeah, <laughs> that guy's got another one on. We're killing him tonight. That's oh. the biggest one. Oh, look That's at him. Man, he's beat up. We're catching a lot of nice fish tonight on these crankbaits. Um, you know, just I talk about it a lot, but just because it works so good, just bouncing off a of riprap. That one is beat up. It almost looks like you just got off the bed. So. <laughs> Alright everyone. Um, we came down here to these bluff rocks and everything. We've never tried it before. And um, I jumped a little smallmouth. He wasn't a keeper though. And then we fished a creek up here. I didn't get it on camera, but I caught a little like 12 and a half incher on a um, little jig. So we're gonna run up where I caught those um, nicer fish earlier today. And um, hopefully we can get on a couple before we get out of here. So stay tuned guys. I hope you're enjoying the episode. Alright guys, I got a good one on. He might be oh, oh! Yeah, he's a big one. He he's one of the biggest ones we ever got in the river. <laughs> oh my goodness. I haven't got a good look at him. Oh, he's, oh, he's not that I big. He's, bigger. he's a good one. Well he's fighting though, isn't he? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I thought he's a little bit bigger than that. Like good little pound and three quarter fish on the, um, the little crankbait, so um, we're gonna fish probably 15 more minutes and um I'm gonna put him back. Make you clip. We caught most of our fish on the um, just this little banded scribble. This is just a little, a little, just a shad cone. It's got a little bit of like white splatter, uh, not really a splatter back, but just a um, little bit of white on the back and um, just a little bit of pink on the lip. And that's just the bait I've been catching them on. Cranking it on 15 pound floor just because I've been cranking mostly through wood and rock tonight. But most of the fish have been on wood, but um, you know, just I keep the 
a little bit heavier line on there just so even if I get a big one, he won't break me off. So, you know, just, I talk about it a lot, but just throwing up in the wood and just bring it on back and you'll feel that crankbait ticking along all the wood and um, you'll just feel a fish grab a hold of it. So, um, the, one more technique that I caught a couple, I think I caught one or two on them, is just throwing a little jig up there. Same kind of deal. Um, just that the difference is you're just getting probably the less active fish. So, you know, just a little 3 8 ounce bitsy flip and um, you know just a pocket chunk on the back. And same kind of thing, you just find the, um, the wood, just flip up in the wood and I just let it sink on the bottom and I just bring that jig back really slow and can feel all that wood and you just feel that just pick it up. So that's just how we were catching them tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.